Color Class Lofoten deals with the complete workflow of landscape photography. Equipment, location planning, lighting, image composition and color management. We've already come quite a way. Before we can hold our images in our hands, there is just one last step, printing. What with the fascination for technology and equipment, it's easy to forget that some scenes are captured better by hand, that is, without a tripod and without a filter. Equipment is, after all, not an end in itself. Some images you only take when you're free of unnecessary ballast. Back in our digital darkroom, we can begin with the last step of our workflow, printing our finished images. But can we just simply begin? Before we can print the image, we first have to be clear on just how a printer actually works. Of course, we know that the monitor puts the image together from red, green and blue. The printer does this completely differently. The printer mixes the colors cyan, magenta and yellow. And because you can't mix a deep black from turquoise, pink and yellow, the fourth color, black, is added. When all the colors come together, we have black. Whereas on the monitor, when all the colors come together, we have white. That means we have two completely different systems and we have to translate the one into the other. Using a conventional office four-color printer, we can't expect to print perfect photos as you can't create perfect color gradients from four colors. That's why a photo printer like the Epson P800 uses a total of nine inks to really create the finest, smoothest transitions. But not only the printer and the ink have a great impact on the print result, also the paper used has an enormous effect on the finished image. If we take a look at the different fine art paper here that Ilford has on offer, then you quickly see they are very different. Some paper is glossy white, matte white, other paper is more natural colored, especially canvases. Other paper has a barite appearance. It's the basis tint of this paper that defines the maximum white available for the print, as white is created by just not putting any color where white should be. The question remains how I get my image processing software to show me what the finished image will look like on the chosen paper. The answer is ICC profiles. In these ICC profiles, you can find out what effect the components, printer, paper and ink will have on the file. And with this information, the image processing software can activate the soft proof mode. In this soft proof view, we can immediately see what happens when we print the image as it is now. So, where do we get these ICC profiles from? That's really easy. If you use brand paper, then you get them from your printer manufacturer. With our Ilford paper, you get them from Ilford. Individually, for the printer you use and for each paper, a separate profile. Now, it can happen that there is no ICC profile available to download for your printer paper combination. Then the only way is to create an ICC profile yourself. To create
create my own ICC profile, I use this spider print. It's similar to a calibration sensor for the monitor, a spectral photometer for the print. To do this, we select our target that we've already printed in the spider print software and have to then first calibrate the sensing head. Now we measure all the fields one after the other. We have a kind of template here that helps us to reach the right fields. And now we measure each individual field with the sensor. If it has worked, we can see that here. Then the field is marked accordingly. And so we go through measuring row for row and measure both pages. At the end, an extremely exact profile has been created that is also much more exact than what you get when you download a standard profile from somewhere on the internet, because such a profile is always created based on the average of all appliances, whereas the measured profile that you have created here is exactly correct for your printer and your paper. With the ICC profile, we now have the final missing component that we need to really transfer our image perfectly onto paper. To do that, we first open the print dialog, choose the appropriate printer and activate, very important, color management via Photoshop. Now we activate the appropriate print profile, that is the ICC profile again, that we also used for the soft proof. In this case, we're opting for this nice smooth gloss paper from Ilford. What you can see at the end of the ICC profile here is important. It says here EPGN. That is the information that we have to enter as printer paper used in the printer driver. Because in the Epson printer driver, we won't find Ilford paper. Instead of that, we have to select predefined Epson paper, in this case, Epson Premium Glossy. And then the printer knows how it must handle the paper. What remains is the decision whether we want to print our image full format or if we want to leave a white margin. Personally, when we are printing an image in this size, A2, I think a white margin looks really good. It makes the image look even a bit more valuable and more appealing. And so I would say, let's do that. It's not done till it's printed. That is the Ilford slogan, and that was also exactly the aim of the Color Class Lofoten, because an image develops a completely new effect when it is printed, and you hold it in your hands. Yes, that's the way it should look. That is exactly why we came here. That's a great way to end our Color Class Lofoten. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you learnt a lot. Bye!